Welcome to the Raven Tape Drive In. I'm your host, Mr. Raven Tape, and tonight's game is Max Payne Part 2 A Cold Day in Hell. Enjoy. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you, not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <laughs> The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. So for those of you who know who've played this game before, there's a, a maze and a jumping puzzle that are coming up. I'm going to cut that completely out because I don't want to be running around for the next hour or so. Should have known it when we found you snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian, eh? With a constant loop of a baby crying and a woman sobbing. It's more for your sake and my sake when editing this. Pictures were filled with good old times. Alex and I had a few moments of glory between us. Crime fighting comrades, the best in NYPD DEA collaborative team good-hearted macho bullshit like that. I would have given anything to have him here as my backup. No such luck. No luck at all. Michelle looked at me from the photo. The Payne family. Happiness captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever. Till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest. Nothing in here. All right. Once again, another puzzle, and I'm going to skip this too. It's nothing much to it, like as you can see, but it's annoying as hell. And that you hear in the background is a constant loop. No, no, please, God, no. Slice dice him, shoot him full of holes, blow him to bits, vaporize him, disintegrate him. No matter what you do, they'll still be back good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy, that cute frown on his brow. 
Guess it's nothing, just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Yeah, I think that's all. Max, no, please, Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. in the real world. Not looking too good for Max at the moment, is it? I woke up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne, I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie the Bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. When somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. Stealth is not a strong suit in this game. It's think... Frankie's turf. We'll take care of it. <laughs> I think it's basically <laughs> just get on, get at them before it's they can get you. Turf. Basically. Yeah. What the? <laughs> Got a good feeling that the slow motion in this is going to play off really well. Nice, just had enough rounds to do that. Hey, yeah. oh. Oh. Thanks for the slowdown, <laughs> the bullet time in this game. In situations like this, it's much, much uh, appreciated. Yeah, I gotta get myself some pills. Find a way out of this basement. Hey! Oh! Oh! Just realized how much damage Another that did to my house. caption for a murder scene. Frankie had left his calling card, a Captain Baseball Bat Boy strip, next to a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball, that boy. Even my arch enemy, Bicycle Helmet Girl, swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. 
you can hear the flies. There's no doubt there's a, a good chunk down there. Alright, so... Well, it looks like this is the only way. We'll eventually probably loop on ourselves again. Because I think it's a box level. Thankfully. Unfortunately, I had to use them straight away. Basically, I could have hanged on to them or use them straight away and to get some um, breathing room for damage. From bad to worse. Watch it. I find that if you use the jumping slow mo like that, um, you tend to want to use it with a, a weapon that has more spread to it, like a um, assault rifle or the or the Uzis. Not so much with a shotgun uh, because it's like sort of like a one. Say one in five chance of hitting somebody, like dead on sort of thing. Oh. Where the shotgun would be more useful if you just want to slow down time uh, and you're still on your feet, sort of thing. I know I keep doing the slow mo to jump with the shotgun, but it's more of trying to maybe get some little practice in it and see if I can up my chances or percentage between that one and five shot uh, that doesn't look too good up the front there Alright, there's that hotel. Things were fast going from bad to worse. Without a doubt. Oh, shit, okay. The men in blue had come and gone. They had decorated the place with chalk outlines and tied it together with yellow tape. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. It gotta be fair, the cops move pretty quickly in this. Just forget about it. <laughs> well, they technically were a step behind Just us, weren't they? About it. That crazy witch, you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. Damn it. Oh. See, now that's probably one of the good... Times that using a jump, slow mo jump for the shotgun is when you're really close to someone. More evidence that Punchinello didn't like it much. The fact remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V in their blood. Reliable sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the Mafia had me, didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Don Punchinello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead, 
and had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne should die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. I'm guessing he's in, well, like he said, he, he wanted to take a lake and get a cold one. What the? Oh! Nice American flag underwear. Not a way I want to go out, but each to their own. The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. Fine by me. This works out just as well. Come on, pick your head out. I'm not coming in there until I've cleaned out a few of them. Bye, Frankie. Okay, that's everyone in here. Oh, I just picked up the last bit of ammunition before it, cut, it went faded to black. Thank you, thank you. You've been a lovely audience. Had enough? I don't play with girls anyway. Unfair! I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. A big black Mercedes. I had seen the car before. That time it had heralded impressive explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. I might have laughed if I remembered how. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item, armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Well, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Hey, why not make one deal with another mobster? Since one family wants you dead, might as well go with the enemy. Conchinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Tyne, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Ponchinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Punchinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Punchinello, you will need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, 
The skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman in the river Styx. So I'm guessing this is a little detour. Um, he did promise weapons at the ending, so I guess it all pays off in the end. You can see where I shot the shotgun way too early into the box. sort of fight they were talking about. Nah, uh, I'm gonna... One in the, that one in five shot. I love the shotguns in, this, in Max Payne. That was close. Um, all, of, all the shotguns uh, in the Max Payne games have been pretty good. Especially the one in... Max Payne 1, basically because of they actually have distance to them. Granted, you're not going to snipe somebody on the other side of the map with it, but it's still got a bit of distance to it. Just checking. Got a funny feeling that seems too good to be true. Open door, gear at the end. <laughs> Fucking knew it. I was waiting for that. Hopefully that's the only time they pull that sort of trick. Okay, now where do I go? We already been out there. Oh no, hang on. No, we've been here. I'm guessing, or I'm assuming that the ones with the markings and the personnel signs are not working either. Nope. Alright, so I know what sort of slider doors I'm looking for. Oh, garage doors. I don't know what you call those sort of doors. It looks like we might have to do a bit of climbing. Oh, platforming in Max Payne is always fun. Got, at least I got some pills out of it, but it was the wrong way anyway, so What are you gonna do? What the hell? I also must admit I like that delay too When somebody fires off shots, it looked like you're safe and then there's like a slight enough delay in the um, traveling of the actual bullet to hit something. Like I said, it's only slight, but it, it's, only, it's very noticeable now that I've been, as I've been playing this again and editing. Stuff like that has, like I said, become very noticeable. Especially when you have to break things down scene by scene. I, I think the hit ratio or the the percentage of damage with the shotgun varies depending on the target. Like I was pretty close then. Could have been a hit one one hit kill, but then again you could be on like the other side of the map 
can get one, get somebody with a one hit shot with a shotgun. So you got to do what you got to do. I still think it's one of the best, better weapons in this game. Some visitors out of it. I hear shots. Why would you start shooting before you even see your target, really? It's not like I'm a ghost or anything. Okay. Somebody must be driving that. Nope, I'm gonna stay inside here. Even if it blocks my way. Well, that was like one of the most obvious traps ever. We're moving pretty quickly towards the boat. I must admit, I think to a degree that this chapter is the shortest of the three of them. I think this only comes in at five or six chapters as a whole. All I can think about is seeing the snow and singing. Man, I could, I could really go for it. Raise the bridge. Really, you think raising the bridge will stop me? Ah. Right, at least some of them drop pills occasionally, which is nice. Right, Rico Monte is dead, isn't he? We killed him in the last um, part. I think. He was the one in the bar. Can I use the bat? Oh, yeah. Save ammunition and open the lock for more. Okay. It was worth a try. I had a feeling it wouldn't open anyway, but what are you gonna do? Okay. Now where'd you come from? He must be hiding somewhere. Did we miss anywhere? Oh, that won't open. Hang on, was that uh, shipping crate crate open before? I doubt if the letter was a receipt. No. Okay. Rico Muerte had come to town to do more than just sort out family troubles. Exhibits number one, two, and three: briefcase of money, a sniper rifle in an envelope with one word neatly printed on a folded piece of expensive paper. Mayor. 
It didn't sound like a mafia contract at all. It was too cold and too to the point. Are they supposed to be... Are the contracts supposed to be more passionate, are they? There's no switch here. It's probably one of those real subtle puzzles. No, hang on. Oh, I'm an idiot. There it is. Gotta crack that somehow. Here we go. Now we can cross that bridge. It's like every time I turn my back, they miraculously um, come back. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> they had the bullet physics to send the, the camera with the bullet, but not to hit somebody. Like, pause exactly when you're about to hit them. See, well, that's where I guess Sniper Elite and Ghost Warrior, Sniper Ghost Warrior, come into play a little bit more. You can see, granted, graphically, they um, have maybe an edge over Max Payne, but um, especially with the X ray and Sniper Elite. Uh, but I think, if memory serves me correctly, Sniper Elite was doing those sort of shots. Um, Around the same time, I think they because Sniper Elite One was released on the PS2. I think it was on Xbox. But yeah, that's two different real developers. One that's focusing on sniper physics and stuff like that, and one that has to make a group of weaponry all balanced and working. Some things are, for are forgivable in the long run. At least we're getting a look at the docks here. <laughs> oh shit. Every time I hear that grenade bounce off something, it's... It becomes a very nervous moment. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Fuck, at least it didn't kill me. That came close though. Are you coming from... Oh yeah, I see you. I guess that's a nice thing, allowing the player to shoot up through the floor too. There have been games where the enemy can shoot you through the floor and up through the floor, but you can't do the same. Keep firing, mate. You're bound to get me. Maybe in the next life, though. No, I don't think there's anything that way anyway. Alright. So we should be on the outside again.
Thanks, mate. Well, thankfully, he brought the platform to us. Otherwise, we weren't going anywhere real quick. Sniper rifle will be very handy in this section, I assume. They may be crouching a lot. Um, I don't know, I just got that feeling. You get this obvious feeling that you're going to need certain weapons in areas. No, I'm not going to hit him in time. See, that wasn't a bad cut. There was no pause, but I, I'd assume the reason it paused is maybe because of the emulator. Like I said, this is emulating on the PS4, so... Like I said, if there's any graphical bugs or stuff like that, I, I would put it down to maybe more the emulator and the files they're using than the actual um, original game. But then again, it's been a while since I've played the original game, so... Uh, maybe some of the glitches and bugs have been transferred over, maybe they patched them out. Don't really know. See, that's the thing that I think a lot of people will forget, is that there was a generation, like when you played games on the PS2 or Xbox, um, it was very much that um, situation of plug and play and the game was sold as is. There was no patches or anything like that unless you were playing on the PC. That's why I think uh, people who played, I think it was uh, True Crime Streets of New York on the original Xbox got a shit deal. Because there was a bug in the game that literally stopped you from um, uh, finishing the game entirely. It was in the asylum section. I love that his mate was just standing there, like, just going about his average day, then he realized, oh shit, I'm on camera, better fire my gun. Yeah, just gonna get into the, as many of those places as we can. Watchtowers or whatever you want to call them. Collect whatever we can out of them. And then uh, we have to shoot a couple of them, so be it. So this should be the end of our little on rails section, I guess you would call it. Most to admit, it's an inventive way to make an on rails section. They sounded close. Oh, there they are. He had high hopes for his pistol. Don't. Oh, ooh, that was close. Yeah, I don't think we need the sniper rifle in close combat. What the hell? Hold it. Oh. 
see what I mean by the shotgun? It does have reach. You just gotta make hope that the percentage is high enough, that's all. like a ballet. Well timed, I say. Nope, okay. Okay. No luck on this door, eh? I had a bad feeling that my um, shotgun was piercing through the uh, gate, so that's why I backed up. So there's no lock on that door. I am assuming that is my... Damn it. I'm going to have to try, but it's not going to work. I assume it's going to be very much a situation of trying to maybe get on top. If I can get it right into the right position, that is. No, okay. Once again, it's worth a try that maybe they had the lock on the inside of the, um... I don't see a lock on it, do I? No, there's no lock there. Alright, okay. So that means to me there is maybe a control panel or something laying around that we have to get to. Why didn't you just wait for me to come found through? Boris Dime ship. Hey, it's one less on the ship I've got to shoot. I can't crouch through it? Crouch jump through it? Oh, now they open it for me. How gracious. Or maybe... What the hell's going on? That was weird. I couldn't move or anything until I used the uh, pills. I don't know if there was supposed to be another cutscene there or what. That was a weird glitch. Rust had crept over the sides of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Boris Dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. The guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. So this is a good situation when you're kind of really outnumbered by guns, especially when they're using uh, high damage weapons like the shotgun. You want the ingrams out, uh, basically, so that way you throw more bullets their way, high, ideally more damage their way, than they can with the shotgun. Was that from inside or outside? Inside. Time. Angela Puccinello here. <laughs> Angie. Tell me, how much did Dime cost you? I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's why I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet. Preferably into a grave. 
But first, we're going to deal with Dime. That was a nice story, mate. Right back at you. I just took a random Tell guess. The devil that died sent you. Oh shit. With everything shaking like it is, it's gonna be it's going to be very hard to aim. That's why I backed up. With the last round of my shotgun, I got him. Ah. Is this what we need? You know how Beautiful. To So yeah, the Colt Commando is probably one of the best uh, weapons in this game, alongside the Jackhammer, which is coming much later. That's another sh version of the shotgun. I think it's like a full auto shotgun. Yeah, I wanted to check the other side, but it started to fade to black, so oh well. Did you get everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But any time you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster act, don't you? Gotta love the old school guys. There's a bit of honor there. Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies. But that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up. But there was no crime in hoping. Oh shit. Max definitely was alive when he said things were gonna heat up. What a way to treat your restaurant, really. Burn the bastard down with me inside. I'll probably be blamed for this one too. My main focus is to try not get blown up or just lit on fire. For whatever hope that'll bring me. He left a trail of gasoline through the entire place. That's interesting. Luckily I saw that before he got me one. That was an automatic slowdown. It slowed the game down so you would pay attention to that. was burning to get me. The feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. 
Is there any other way? I wonder. <laughs> it just seemed too quiet down there, especially after one guy. I had no idea that there would be... The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. Exactly. I had no realization that uh, they would be standing right in front of it. Now we gotta find a way out of here. I guess we just keep following the uh, loud mobsters with guns. seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. So it looks like we're at the mansion now. After everything we got on to, try the burn us alive in his restaurant. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. He'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick. No matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck. And anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. Looks like something's already been busy. It looks hey! like... In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. <laughs> yeah, just keep firing in that general direction. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. Hmm. See, so now there are three guys that we'll have to face down before we get to Angelo. Think of them like sort of like mini bosses. If you know what you're doing, you can pretty much knock, get rid of them pretty quickly.
So, so how did you miss me the first time? Jealousy within the boys. I think that's the one thing I like in Max Payne 2 and 3. Um, if you keep firing your gun while after doing one of those slow motion jumps, he'll actually stay on the floor. I think, I think even in Max Payne 3, uh, he doesn't even get up until you move the stick. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. The word on Lisa Punchinello is that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. It's only a way they interpret the Toro cards, that's for sure. Alright, we're not going that way. Sounded good to me. One down, two to go. Definitely. I got a pill bottle. Oh! I thought he was shooting from up above. I'm an idiot sometimes. We're closing in now. Oh shit! I don't know why I slow did slow mo there. I should have left it at normal speed and just ran. But whatever. Hey, it wasn't really a waste. We still got some pills from it or health. So it looks like we're going after Joe next. There he is up there. Tried to toss a grenade at us. It was a bit of a mess. I think that's the one upside of the grenades in this is that if you're moving forwards and the enemy throws a grenade at you, as long as it doesn't hit you, uh, you don't really get damaged by them much. Let's go knock on his door and see if he's willing to answer. Two down, one to go. I actually forgot the trio's name. I think he did mention them. That was Pilot, that was Joe. Don't stop at him! This will, this will stop anything. 
I had a funny feeling they were going to do that. This game seems to like explosives. Got your grenade launcher. So, who else is hiding in here, eh? Oh, cutting around the bed. Thanks, boys. But I think we're missing one more. Or not? Oh, I think that was everyone. It just seemed very, um... Oh shit. Once again, I had my back to you. How did you miss? It was too late for her. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle. Exactly. Uh, I guess it's the. I think this. This must be it. Oh shit. Chinello's trio was done for. Alright, well there you go. We actually did miss him. Let's go see Punchinello. Outside my door. Hurry. He's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. It was shit. No, I told him not to. You just told me everything. Well, more or less, anyway. Who the hell are these guys? Oh, they got him. I was hoping to pull the trigger myself, but whatever. Drop it. Don't move. Shit. Game over, Max Payne. I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble on dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. And with that, we've reached the ending of another showing. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, good night.